Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Hidden Deep. It is a survival sandbox mining game where you're, uh, I guess, exploring and trying to survive in a deep oceanic mining base that has been overrun by weird flesh horror beasts. Uh, it looked neat, and one of my friends said it was good. Okay, so what do we want to do? Deep exploration, normal difficulty, story action, recommended for gamers. Alright, this should be fine. I don't want to do intense. I am a weak man. I don't do horror very well. Now, the thing I don't know is how, like, sandboxes-ish this is going to be. Like, I don't know if this is going to be, uh, like, full Terraria, but spooky, or if it's going to be something different. I'm also not sure who this character is going to be. I assume that just summons the elevator. Elevator is here already. It's fair. Be careful. We're working on bringing back the power. Okay, so I might have to turn... The sound effects up a little bit. I don't want it to be like too much because I know this gets spooky. I wonder what happens if I like fall in there, if I just die. Main gate is clo the, closed, but there's an alternative way. Take the crank, use in the mechanism nearby. You need to pick up items. Crank. I see. Okay, stand close to the edge, S to climb down. Or, you know, jump. I'm gonna break my ankles here. There we go. I gotta, I gotta get used to this, otherwise I'm gonna hurt myself, and that's gonna be rough. Hold left shift while running to run faster and jump longer. Uh, what was that tutorial? There we go. S to crawl. It was just... It said a button and then I couldn't... <laughs> it went away immediately. Probably because I got too close or I did actually press it correctly. C for grappling hook. Oh, that's neat. Go over the rope. Does the rope just still exist? No, it just disappears. Well, it seems to have unlimited range, and I think I might have an unlimited amount of ropes. Let's see. Attention, falling risk. Head for shaft two. Okay, so we're going that way, but we, we currently can't. I, I'm digging this grappling hook. I feel like that's that's going to be what makes this game. Maybe. There we go. The ambiance is also hella spooky. Oh, there was a ladder there. I didn't I didn't need the grappling hook after all. Okay. Yeah, that's disconcerting. Can I S again to stay even lower? Oh boy. So I can get I I can get in there. I this would freak me out to no end. I don't think I would agree to being here. Yeah, I wouldn't agree to being here. I would, I would go back. I would go back. I should have used a grappling hook. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, maybe I can make this. The answer is, sure, I might be able to make that, but, oh, hey, we're still Murphy. I'm low on ammo. But I'm back up to full health. That's actually kind of useful to know. Okay. My aim is bad. And I... Oh! Okay. Poor Murph... Poor Murph here is going to have some bad times. 
Right. Okay, I can hook onto that. Let's check the upper section real quick. See if there's anything interesting over here. Here we go. Okay, it's not going to bite me in the ankles. Slippery surface. I read that as slippery surprise and... Threw me off a little. Shooting walls attracts creatures. Okay. So I don't actually know what would have been down that other route. Oh. I guess I needed this. Key collected. Wait, you have the gate key. Now head back to shelf two. Nope. That's the wrong thing. There we go. I'll have to go check what's down that, that other shaft just to see if there's anything there. Okay. There we go. So far so good. Slippery surface, but not a problem. Yeah, let's let's go see what's what's down the other direction. Though I have I have concerns. Oh, they're the ones that drop the weird slugs. Okay. Do I see anything else? I shot the light out. That's a mistake. We got anything else here that wants to ruin my day? No. Alright, let's do that real quick. Go down here. What is this? I'm gonna regret being here. I see more flyers and I am running out of ammo. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I think I am going to have to use the grappling hook. But maybe it was crawling that messed me up here. I'm not really sure. Oh, there are resources, but never mind. <laughs> okay, I should have expected that. Uh, okay, so I think that just gets me every time. I'd say it's unfortunate. But it's now dead. Alright, cool. There we go. Now I have many bullets. So I thought this was going to be more of a survival sandbox, but it actually seems to be more, more of kind of a linear exploration game with just a lot of horror. Which, I, you know what? I'm actually kind of fine with that. The idea of survival sandbox horror games. Actually, oh. Let's go all the way up. There we go. I don't need to go to the partway point. We can just go all the way. Ooh, he like flipped there. There we go. They don't see any reason for me to have gone here apart from exploration. It's fine. This is going to suck. <laughs> okay, maybe not that far. Here, let's do the safe thing. 
I mean, I guess I could try and go up, but honestly, it's better for me to just go all the way down. And then go back up. I could try swinging across, and that might be the safer option. I'm just so glad that there seems to be constant checkpoints. That instantly makes every horror game considerably less of a problem. Though, I'm noticing this guy's named Murphy, and I wonder if I'm still stuck in the tutorial and... I just can't permanently die as a result of that. And that there might be another version of this where we uh, we get out of the tutorial and then it no longer lets us... Um... Let's see. We get out of the tutorial and then like we actually can die for keeps. Wait, why am I doing this? Hello? There we go. Going up ladders is weird. I like the ambiance, though. I... I'm not big on most horror games. Oh, left shift to slide down the ladder. Well, that would have been helpful. Oh, mission time. 10 minutes. Crew left, 15. Oh. Am I supposed to be rescuing crew, or...? Now take the elevator down to the next sector. Am I supposed to be rescuing crew, or is that just a limited number of lives? Was that down to the next sector, or...? It was probably down. I'm still gonna see what's out here. Bunch of mining ve vehicles, looks like. <laughs> we just peace out. Just leave. I mean, it looks like I can. Also looks like there's a number of areas that I can explore. Oh. You've accomplished an additional task. We can now move on with heavy machinery. Only engineers can operate these. Engineers are dressed in orange suits. Okay, so this character is a scout, so there's going to be different playable classes for me to mess around with. Good to know. Okay, so that's how we do this. Well, that's fair. Subject Thompson S. Men losses 5. Mission status accomplished. Oh, interesting. So this is 16 days later. We're still Murphy. Crew left 20. Two of our men, Vernon and Hannigan, were inspecting a previously unexplored area and we lost contact with them. There was a minor ground quake, but it was enough to cause the entry tunnel to collapse. So you must use another entrance to locate them. Use your terror scanner to find an entry point. Scan all marked areas with terror scanner to find an entry to the lower level. Interesting? How do? Okay. So, I guess let's go, go down. I'm sure it'll become apparent as we go. Go to points marked to the map, scan them with Terra Scanner, press M, show the map. Right, let's just go down here and then I'll check the map. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get killed by that at some point. Just the really finicky nature of everything. Okay. So press N for Terra Scanner. Uh, or equipment. Ah, got it. Nope. Uh, well, I I didn't mean to use this thing, but I guess here we go. I thought I pressed N, but I guess it did other things. Push button or... or huh. Okay, but that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. So there's a cave down there. The second top horizontal line marks penetration range of your explosives. Okay. So that's just this one here. So I'd have to use like four or five explosives to get down to whatever that cave is. Let's not do that. Oh, tab to close. X pulls out my explosives. I don't think we want to do that. Okay. And then up see we gozies. Nope.
Oh, and yeah, it does cost me lives. So each mission has a limited amount of lives that I can uh, that I can spend. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to start over. So I I really was wrong about the survival sandbox stuff. This is this is a linear exploration uh, survival horror game ish. It's got some neat points to it. I honestly was expecting this to be uh, I was honestly expecting this to be a little bit more like sandboxy with just like a, a big area to explore and a lot of stuff to kind of find as I go along with story elements to tie it together. I'm not sure which I would have preferred. I think I like the idea of having a more sa uh, sandboxy environment with horror games just because I feel like it gives me more leeway to mess around and do interesting things. And also because there's surprisingly few, like, good sandbox horror games. There's a couple, but they're few and far between. Alright. You found the right spot. Now use your explosives. So, equipment 4 or shortcut X. I mean, the other possibility is that it actually does get a lot more sandboxy as we go along. Caves are looking a little, little grody. And the locals are looking just a little bitey. Okay, I don't see anything there, but I should check with the Terra Scanner all the same. Nope, not a thing. I like the mapping system, it feels good. It feels satisfyingly low tech. Okay, two or B for the scan ball. Oh, I I must have pressed N. So we can also turn on a magnet and electrocute enemies with the scan ball. Okay. I should have checked to see if that had like a health bar or something like that. I mean, it worked, kind of. Oh, because it would have been pretty bad to run into a biter down here. And I know we've got another fly here. There we go. Okay, nothing else. Push button or switch. Turn on magnet. Magnet. I do wish you could, like, retrieve your scan balls and like recharge them somehow. But that might make things just a little too easy. All right, I can already I can already see the other chamber. It must be here. Now try to blast the hole. Be careful. All right. Just careful. Well, do I scan ball? I mean, I guess I don't have too much of a choice. Okay. We've got a number of them. We want to kind of... Uh, eh? Eh. Okay, so trying to shoot well on the grappling hook is a terrible idea. There we go. Ooh. 
Because, yeah, the, the swing and the characters... Okay, grappling hook is a zip line. First... Oh. Shoot your line into a marked position. Press enter to nail your end of the rope to the ground. Now jump on that rope holding W. Okay, that's scary. I'm going to fling myself into death zones by doing that. But it's neat that it's a thing that I can do. Uh, do we want to... I'm just going to check out this giant creepy shaft. So there is actually something all the way up here. Not gonna waste my battery doing that. So there there is something up there. I just Okay. Hannigan has a personal radio beacon, so you can locate him using your tracker. I could do that. I think we're just gonna go up first. Bad time to have run out of ammo. Apparently you can't reload while on a grappling tether, I think. Let's put this away. Well... Oh, I can't gun in this situation either. Got it. Okay. I knew I should have used the tracker ball. Oh well. Let's hope there's not another one of those just waiting for me up here. Nope, looks like we're fine. Okay, toggle beacon tracker. I actually do wonder if we're going up to the... Damn it! I press spacebar and panic. Going up in this game is brutal in a way that I did not expect. I mean, I guess I should be listening for audio cues. Because they usually actually do tell you, like, if there's a thing. Okay, anything over here? I see another chamber there. Err. Alright, that worked. Felt demonstrably unsafe to me, but... We got it. Go here. And then shoot the fly. There we go. There's gonna be bigger horrors. <sighs> okay. Pissed him off. There we go. Because, yeah, you can use bullets to lure things in. But you can also use the grappling tether. Okay, and I know for a fact there's another one here. Somewhere. Okay, hit the wiggler. All right, we're good. I don't think this this area up here actually has anything useful, but I've got a lot of ammo. I might as well take out the uh, the couple of bad bad boys that I don't want to have to deal with. Oh, oh, come on! All 
Okay, that's really frustrating. Dude just does not want to go up these hills. Wow. Okay, it's fine. I should have started shooting first. Okay, how am I doing on bullets? I should just reload. It's not even... Okay, I cannot be holding a direction when I'm doing that. I have to just go straight. Problem is... Oh, well, this guy is dead. Because apparently grabbing your gun makes you stop moving for a second. I... I don't get that one. Well, at least everything I killed is still dead. Yeah, I don't know about you. But I w in the in these situations I'd make sure that my gun is in a in a way that I can easily access it access it at any time. And like, I mean it's reasonably accessible for this guy, but I mean like if I'm sprinting, I should be able to grab my gun quick. Or, you know, minor slowdown. Okay. Got a slug -a bug. I'm just exploring at this point. I don't know where I'm going. We have the transponder thing. But I'm more interested in just seeing what's around. Looks like this is just an empty cavern, though. But we are getting close to one of the guys. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything heard me. Oh. No, something did hear me. I'm not going to risk this. It just didn't make noise at first. Anything? Oh, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, weird more flesh goop there. But I want to be here. Come on. Come on. I'd do it. Okay. I'm definitely getting closer. Uh, I want to use the grapple gun, but honestly, hmm. I don't have many scan balls. I think I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna turn this off. I don't need it. Not for this. I apparently need grappling hook to go up this. Up we go. Well, they're probably down there. Okay. We got a couple of different spots they could be. Oh, there was another chamber up above. Oh, there was another chamber up above that I could have gone to. Shoot. I'm gonna go check that out. Oh, this is not another chamber. This is just... The upper section to where I just was. How the heck do you get over here then? I don't know. Well, this guy is injured and very low on ammo. I know it's a waste of a bullet, but 
One bullet is not going to save my butt. Okay. I don't know. Whatever that chamber is, I guess I'd have to blast into it. Probably from above. Probably even had ammunition. I see a rope there, but what about the other direction? My desire for exploration is going to get me killed. But I got 16 lives, so I don't know, maybe I'm fine. Okay, this seems like a scan ball situation. Okay. Probably saved my life. Hopefully we can get a restock at some point. Can I pick? No. Well, it's a good thing that can't hit me in the head. Okay. So there is like an upper hole. With like a with a chamber there. Which yeah, I should probably check that out. Oh, we actually found a dude who's alive. Vernon was trying to find a way to escape, but he never came back. There's a way out from the east. We shouldn't draw any attention. Okay, left shift to switch between the characters. So we now have Murphy and Hannigan. Uh, let's see. We do have that upper chamber that I could go to. But we already found him. Okay. Well, do I just... Keep going with Murph? I guess I will. This is kind of reminding me of... Oh. Oh. Mount a rope here. For the engineer, not zipline. Stand near the edge. Use a shortcut key, period. Alright, there we go. I should probably go check that other direction, now that I'm thinking about it. Because there, there was the other way with the, uh, the rope that we saw. And that seems like something worth maybe checking out as well. It was just ammo. Well, that's go. Oh. Good to know. We also took radiation damage. It's also good to know that that's going to be a thing. There's a worm in my tunnels. That's not acceptable. There's multiple worms in my tunnels. That's a problem. Yeah, these, these worms are going to make it really tough for me to get around. Looks like I'm okay. Yeah, so some flies probably heard me leaving. And decided to just start dropping worms all over the place. Well, it's fine. I have ammunition now. Should make my life easier. Okay. Just going to assume that I can get to the bottom real quick. Got it. No, oh, didn't get it. It like bounced off of me. I have 8% HP left. Ooh, poor Murph. 
Okay, how's my ammo doing? Fine. There we go. Yeah, we have no med kits. So Murph is just going until he in inevitably gets absolutely destroyed by something. Well, he ain't getting destroyed by those things. That was a cloud, though. How much ammo do I still have? Are you there? Chunk. I've got your signal. Rescue team is digging through the rock to make an escape point with you. I mark the position on your map. Go there with Hannigan and wait for our people. Extraction point is over there. Uh. Am I supposed to go in the water? Okay, I'm learning how to swim. It's not too bad, but it is wonky, wonky shit. Hope there's no evil sea creatures that I'm not aware of. Can I grapple? No, I can't. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have Murph scout this out. Looks like we're fine, actually. And yeah, we'll just we'll just have Hannigan uh, follow after we've cleared everything else out, because I I want nothing to do with this. Let's see. Really? Okay. Switch back to the pistol. So far, so good. I know there's more. And he dead. Alright, it's fine. Oh! There we go. Get a Murph. Oh, there's another one? No. Trick of my eyes. Hit. Hit. Oh. All right. Well, do we use a scan ball here? Figure out where we're going? Maybe not, actually. Okay. Then I should be able to nail this to the ground. There we go. Could have been worse. Uh You know what? I'm gonna scan ball all the same. Cause I wanna see what's down here. Looks like mostly just blood. Maybe? Or just kind of dark red scary bits. Well, looks fine to me. Alright. Go back across. Hopping on... Hopping on zip lines in this game is terrifying. It has yet to kill me, but sometime there is going to be a point where it will. Where... Alright, try and hop the zip line. Then I miss, and then I die. Come on, get up. Well, that's really annoying, actually. I mean, I've got plenty of ammo, and I probably should have used the smug. Uh...
Okay, looks like that's it. That's all I needed. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh, you can see the scan ball battery there in the top left. Got it. It's a little unfortunate you can't pull out the gun while you're crawling. I actually don't get why, honestly. Now, do I have to get both of them over here? Yep. All right, Hannigan. Put your gun away. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, I think I don't need any grappling hooks. I might. I might need some. Because I got the rope here. And Hannigan has no tools, just gun. There we go. I like the idea of having the two characters work together. I think I, uh, execution is going to be... Give a... Oh. Give simple orders to your crew. Oh. I didn't realize I could have had the two of them working together this entire time. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, for dudes in boots, these guys can actually swim particularly fast. I'm kind of impressed. I don't know about you, but uh, I've tried swimming in shoes before. And it was not easy. Those are... Shoes are, shoes are not meant for long-term swimming or swimming at all. Honestly, swimming in, like, heavy clothing is pretty tough. Okay, let's just hope Hannigan can... Oh! He got it there! I... I, I don't get it. Maybe I was maybe I was just doing it wrong. I have no idea. But yeah, he's getting it fine this time. We I mean, I do have some extra lives. I could I could screw around a little bit. See if we could drop from one grappling tether to the next. Let's do it. Yeah, so it looks like I can. That this feels wildly unsafe. But yeah, you totally can just hop from one grappling tether to the next to the next if you wanted to I am not that mad on the plus side you can also hold up and uh, catch yourself yeah so I guess I just wasn't holding space long enough and then if I actually do so you just magnetize on that's weirdly fiddly I get it but I almost kind of just wish they jumped a little higher or magnetized regardless. It's like, oh yeah, you're trying to jump up this ledge. Gotcha. It, there's like a slight aspect of quap here. Oh, I see. Oh. I can give simple commands. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So yeah, I can tell them to auto run. Good. Oh. Now wait here. The rescue team is digging through to you. I probably shouldn't be right next to that. Boy, where was this thing? That would have been helpful. Alright, we go. This feels very... I don't want to say awkward, necessarily. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of, like, hey, multiple characters, run in this direction. Because they're going to get killed if I do that. It's an interesting feature, but it just feels so dangerous. So what's the, what's the deal with this mission? Okay. So objectives list. Yeah, with the first mission, there was kind of that bonus objective that implied that there might be, like, more things that I can do. 
I'm sure there's optional things that I've just been missing left and right. And I'm sure that's exactly the case. You know, there were a couple of caves I didn't find my way into the last time. Or the last mission, but still. But I'm a little disappointed that this isn't kind of like this weird horror survival metroidvania thing that i like the individualized levels but i think it would have been so much more powerful if you were just left to your own devices and you know occasionally the person on the radio would give you a command but otherwise it's this giant sprawling facility that you're exploring and you know maybe you have bonus objectives like rescue an engineer or you know get the engineer kit so you can become an engineer and use um use heavy machinery to dig your way through things that this more linear structure i think it works fine for what it is, but I can see the potential for something even, even sicker. But that would have taken, you know, more time and money and effort to make. It might not have been a better game, but some part of me uh, can't help but be like, oh, but maybe. Anyway, with all of that said, Hidden Deep is available on Steam Early Access uh, out today, looks like. Yeah, and it's $25 normally down to $22.50. I don't think it's really my cup of tea. It's surprisingly playable. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more immediate horror, but it's mostly shoot the buggers and watch out for the, the ceiling tentacles. I know it gets worse. I've seen the trailers and they look uh, extra spooky. So if you're looking for a horror game that takes a bit of a left turn compared to, I think what the horror game market is currently done, uh, then it's worth taking a look at. Personally, it's normally not my kind of thing. I thought it, I thought it was gonna have a little bit more of that sandbox feel to it. But I can appreciate it for what it is, all the same. You know, just the the claustrophobic the environments, the exploration tools. And honestly, like, that's actually kind of huge for me, just being able to have all of these things. The terror scanner, it looks like there's now a plasma cutter, uh, and so on and so forth. And I could see I could see some really neat uh like ways that this game will just kind of evolve over the course of its development, but also over the course of its mission structure, too. That said, uh, I guess with that, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want, if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, hit subscribe, because I got tons of them to check out. But with that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.